morning guys so today is the 19th of january i literally got a long day today and um yeah i'm doing a 12 hour shift starting at quarter two i'm supposed to be there for handover and then yeah i don't know where i'm working which floor i'm allocated on um yeah but we'll see how it goes and i'm literally just going to take you guys with me so you guys can have a feel of what my day is like when i'm working so like i said this is my um vlog that i'm doing a weekly vlog sort of so today the whole day is just going to be me at work basically and by the time i come home in the evening um, i'm just going to be tired anyway but i'm going to show you guys actually i'm going to take you around with work obviously maintaining confidentiality of the patients as well as other staff members and yeah so that's what i'm gonna do guys so in a minute actually i need to call my taxi hi can i please book a taxi as soon as possible please from it's belinda do you sorry do you know how much that's gonna be roughly okay yeah that's fine all right thank you very much thank you bye 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 so that's it i've got my lunch here i'm gonna show you guys actually what i brought for my lunch today i've got some protein roll yogurts i've got some mini cheddar cheese um some nuts flavored nuts a bit of um what is it called kiwi i've got some chicken curry as well as cauliflower rice got a cup of tea with a few tea bags and then i've got my water bottle um of squash juice that i'm gonna obviously refill as time goes so that's basically what's happening guys so right now i'm gonna go on my way i'm going to go and wait for my taxi downstairs because it's on the way Then I have to check the fridge temperature right there at the back. Then I have to document that. And then I also have to check the cleaning temperature and document that. Um, that is, that, that's basically um, standard procedure. So I'm going to do that. And then afterwards, I'm going to go and check in my diary what I've got to do. I've got to give one of the patients the patch. And it is 
that watch is wrong but it is actually um 10 o'clock in the morning so i'm actually quite shocked that i'm quick with that um there's not much to do in the diary making an appointment for the one of the patients for the to see the doctor as an outpatient and then um i could have called one of the other relatives so yeah so that is how my day has been two hours into the shift we'll see how it goes i still got my lunch time medication to do i still got um a stock check to do for all the cold cold um i'll show you what i mean I've got the stock check that I have to do for all the medication, which includes cocodamol, you know, um, amitriptyline. Actually, let's have a look what it is. Cocodamol that I have to do. I'm obviously covering the dose of the patient. And then I have to check the fish temperature, which at this point in time it is seven, eight, actually, eight, actually, to be exact. So they're saying the optimum, optimum temperature will be between two and eight degrees. So next I'm checking the medicine product room temperature. What's the temperature of the room? We're going to check here in the room and we can see that it's 20, 21, 22, 22 to be exact. So then I go back here and then I'll just fill that one in for the 19th and put 22. That's done guys. I've literally finished with everything that I needed to do for the meantime. Hey guys, so it's lunchtime at the minute. I'm gonna start my lunchtime medication. There's not much, much there is not much lunchtime medication. I think normally there is more morning medication than lunchtime medication, so I'm starting to do another thing that I was trying to say to you guys, you know, obviously being a nursing student working in a care home setting and being able to administer medication, I get sort of an idea what medication is what. Do you understand? Because they have various types of medication as you guys seen in the morning. And personally for me that is a very good opportunity because most of the uh, medication that I'm giving out to patients or the patients, the residents here in the care home is a station that I'm basically giving out to um, most of the patients when I'm up in the hospital doing clinical placement. So obviously that's a good learning experience because once a nurse asks me, oh, what is this medication for? You know, like if a person is what's bisoprolol for, I know that, you know, automatically I know that's a hard medication. And um, that's why for me, this is this is one of the this is one of the things I like about this job because it's an opportunity for me to learn. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, I need to increase my fluid intake because I feel like I didn't drink much already and it's one o'clock. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm just gonna stop with the medication. Finished. My medication has come in for the residents. I have to put in the medication, and yeah, I've got to make a phone call to one of the relatives. I've made care plans.
Okay guys, so basically it's Good evening here on Belinda speaking how may I help? So yeah, I am just gonna give you guys an update in regards to my day. It's already 1846, so I've got literally um one and a half hours left before I finish. It's been a hell of a day guys. My feet is like literally throbbing. So I'm gonna go home obviously. I had my dinner already so by the time I come home I'm not going to actually want anything anymore I'm just going to have a cup of tea um, and just you know talk to my partner chit chat to my partner a bit and then I'm going to go to sleep and yeah basically I'm just showing you guys like what it's like for a 12 hour shift in my work day and what my work entails so that's basically all it is so the next time I'll see you guys is Wednesday the 20th tomorrow is 24 i've got some online lectures once again and also i'm going to be doing some rough draft for my dissertation so i'll show you guys as well as well as my other assignment i'm not too bothered with the dissertation at this point in time because it's only due on the 31st however i've got an assignment that's due next week so i'm going to go and crack on with that and as well as practicing practice a bit of my math so tomorrow that's what i'm going to be basically doing literally the whole day i'm going to have a lie in a bit because i deserve a lie in and then i'm going to wake up later on to do that so yeah so yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs>